Hi guys, Summer Alexander from Summer Alexander Research and I'm back with this week's Effortless Marketing Tips. So today I'm going to share with you seven low-cost marketing strategies that you can implement right away. Now why is this important? Because effective marketing equals money in the bank. <laughs> so in order for you to get the most out of these strategies, I'm going to start with my personal definition of marketing. Marketing is everything that you do to inform potential customers about your products and services. It's every conversation you have, it's every Facebook post, it's every Twitter post, it's the content on your website, it's the way you answer your phone. All of that falls under the umbrella of marketing. And I want you to eliminate all those little nasty thoughts you have about marketing being difficult and costly. I'm going to help you with these seven low cost marketing strategies and in a way that won't cause you to grow gray hairs trying to implement them. <laughs> so before we get started, I do want to point out that it's very important to have a marketing plan. Otherwise, you're likely to try one or two strategies and get no results. So I am offering a free marketing plan template, which I'll post a link under the video below. Okay, so let's dig in. Number one reach out to potential joint venture partners. Make a list of five businesses either in your local community or online who offer products and services that are complementary to the ones that you offer. Brainstorm some ways that the two companies can partner together and that are, will make it beneficial to both. So if you sell dresses, find the local shoemaker and find out if you guys can come up with some kind of cross coupon promotion to help each other out, okay? Number two, start an email newsletter. Now, I know you've never heard that before, right? Exactly. But starting an email newsletter and sending out a newsletter consistently are two completely different things. I cannot tell you how many times I've signed up for someone's email list only to hear from them every blue moon and usually when they're just trying to sell me something. Yuck. So... <laughs> Don't worry about having just a few people. Everybody starts their list with just grandma and mom and dad. If you have an effective lead generation strategy in place, I promise you, your list will grow. Okay? Number three, add customer testimonials to all of your marketing materials. You should be asking your customers and clients for feedback after every purchase. I provide mine with a client uh, form that I get from SurveyMonkey. However it works for you, you should be getting some kind of feedback from them. Ask them how it was to work with you. Find out the results they got from working with you. I like to use this format. Before working with Summer Alexander Research, fill in the blank. And now, fill in the blank. So once you've gathered a few really good testimonials, you want to add them to your brochures, your website, your social media pages, and you can even add your best client feedback to the back of your business card. Got it? Number four, do a flash sale. Take an honest inventory of your products and services and list those that never sold, so very few, or never saw the light of day. We all have some of those, right? <laughs> so I want you to mark it down to the point where you're almost giving it away. $7, $17, $27, whatever's appropriate for your market. And send it out to your email list, even if it's just grandma, your Facebook and Twitter fans, or put it on Craigslist or in your local community mailer. If all else fails, have your kids take it to all of their friends parents <laughs> okay number five create a rotating email signature I like to put a line at the bottom of every one of my email signatures um, that has a link to my latest blog post and I rotate that as my blog post change weekly okay number six mentor someone in your industry and I know you're wondering how in the world mentoring someone will lead to sales in your business and I can't say that it will directly however from what I've seen in my own business and in the businesses of the clients that I work with giving always leads to new opportunities in your business so think back to all you didn't know when you first started your business think harder Mm -hmm. You with me? You remember the pain, the struggle, the desire to cry and throw in the towel? Now think how beneficial it could be if you were to speak with someone who's in that exact place and offer them some tips and resources to make it a little bit easier. Maybe you could even allow them to intern with you and take on some of the tasks that 
are not really necessary for you to do any further. Got it? Number seven, host a small workshop. I love this strategy. It's one of my favorites. Get a group of people together at your local library or community center or chamber of commerce, wherever people who are in your target market gather and offer them some tips and strategies to help them move from whatever their pain point is to out of that pain point and give them a, have a way in place for them to follow up with you at the end of that workshop. You want to collect their name and email and add them to your newsletter or you want to speak to them about some one-on-one -on -one coaching or you want to tell them how your product or service can help to eliminate whatever is that pain point. But you want to make sure that you market that workshop to people who actually fit the description of your target market. Okay, I know that was a lot, so I'm done for the day, but I'd like to hear which of these seven strategies do you think you can go ahead and get started implementing right away? Leave a comment below. I promise to respond to every single one. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye.